Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this fountain sent to me by the lovely Katie Von Lannan. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, and <laughs> the rats are trying to chew the note. Uh, anyways, I'm a bit late to review this. I'm sorry. I was so excited when I saw it come in, but unfortunately it was pretty much right before I went on a trip. Uh, and then things were just kind of crazy busy afterwards. But I am excited to be talking about it now because this fountain here is something I have been very excited to <laughs> try out with my rats for a long time. Uh, some of you might remember that back when I had my girls biscuit, Oreo, and espresso, which I think was 2018 or maybe 2019. Uh, anyways, I had a cute little fountain that was super adorable. I got it at a store called Tuesday Morning. It's like a little restock store. And anyways, the fountain was so cute uh, and the rats really loved it and I thought it was perfect for them and that's when I realized that it had no filter and no way to clean it so not great and after a short while of using it I realized that it really wasn't safe to continue using it with my rats so after that I pretty much just shelved it and even though I still have the parts it's just not something I ever see myself using with my rats again uh, because well it's just not really suitable for pets now this fountain on the other hand was designed for cats so it actually has a pet safe design in mind and it's rated as one of the number one cat fountains and it's not uncommon to see people using it for other animals like rats as well uh, in fact it's quite popular in a lot of the rat groups I'm part of so that was another reason I was very excited to see this in the mail because it was like oh my gosh this is just such a cool fountain and knowing that it's actually safe for my rats just makes it a lot easier to enjoy it because I'm not worried about them getting sick from drinking from it because it actually has a filter and it's super easy to take apart and clean uh, this is my first time using it, so of course I can't talk about long term, but the rats have really adored it so far. Uh, I let them use it for a few minutes before I started this video, and actually you're going to see some various clips that I took of them initially using it. The rats really like to go under the water or just to kind of like bite at the water streams. Uh, the fountain actually has three different options. You can do it without the flower, so the water's just kind of gently cresting over the green part. Uh, you can do it with the flower petals but without the middle and then the water is a pretty gentle stream over the flower petals and then finally you can do it with the little yellow middle flower part and that creates the stronger streams uh, with the individual little rivers so i think the rats enjoy this setting the most uh, and i'm going to keep it at that setting because they just seem to really enjoy playing with the little streams Anyways, I am very pleased with this fountain and so are my rats. So again, a big thanks to Katie. Uh, this is just such a cool thing to try out with the rats and I can see myself using it pretty much every free range. Uh, that's actually my plan right now. I'm going to continue using it every single time I put out the free range area because the rats have really enjoyed it so far. Uh, and I just wanted to add one more thing, which is that this fountain does have a cord. So that's pretty much the only downside when it comes to rats because, well, they like to chew cords. Uh, and the way I've gotten around that is because I'm using a playpen, I basically scooted the fountain as close to the playpen as possible and then set the playpen wall on top of the cord. Now the playpen wall is very light, so I don't think it's going to cause any damage, uh, hopefully. And then on top of that, I kind of blocked off access to the cord using these two side platforms, which are also doubling as a way for the rat to easily get to the fountain. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the rats play with the fountain. And, uh, you know, I'd be curious to know if anyone else has fountains for the rats and, you know, how that's gone. Do your rats like the fountain? Are they afraid of the fountain? Uh, I've heard both sides, so I'm always curious to know which way the rats go. Anyways, that's it for this video. Again, a big thanks to Katie, and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye!